In this problem, we're being asked to find the asymptotes of this rational function. And we've got a quadratic on the top, a linear on the bottom. So we've got an x squared as a leading term here, and an x as the leading term on the bottom. So let's start with the easiest bit. Let's find the vertical asymptote. And that's where the denominator equals 0. And it's pretty easy just by glancing at this to see that if I put in negative 1 for x, then this would be 0. So x equals negative 1 is where our vertical asymptote is. So I'm just going to draw that in with a red line. So there's our vertical asymptote. The next part here is to determine if um, there is a horizontal asymptote. And it depends on the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. Here we have um, a, a numerator with x squared and a denominator with x to the first. So that's the situation where <clears throat> the numerator is greater than de the denominator. It means there's no horizontal asymptote. But if the numerator is exactly one degree bigger than the denominator, and that's what's happening to here, we have two on top and one on the bottom, then there is a slant asymptote. So an asymptote that's a diagonal line. The way we find the equation for that line is we have to do some polynomial long division. We divide the top by the bottom. And the result is going to be the equation of the line. We can ignore the, the remainder of that division if there is a remainder. But the result of that division is going to be the equation for our line. So let's see if we can do some quick polynomial division. I don't have a lot of room here. Let's, um, let's get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. OK. So let me set up the division problem. We have x squared plus 5x minus 5. We've got all the powers of x in descending order. So that's set up right for division. And then we're dividing by x plus 1. So the first question is, what do I multiply x by to get x squared? The answer is just x. x times x is x squared. And x times 1 is x. And then we subtract that chunk x squared minus x squared is 0. 5x minus x is 4x. Then we pull down our minus 5. And again, I ask myself, well, what do I need to multiply x by to get 4x? Well, that's 4. So we'll put a 4 up there. 4 times x is 4x. And uh, 4 times 1 is 4. We do our subtracting. 4x minus 4x is 0. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. So we've got a remainder here of negative 9. We don't really need to worry about that. All we need to worry about is this chunk up here, x plus 4. And what we do is we set y equal to that. y equals x plus 4. That is the equation of our asymptote line. So this has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 4. So let's plot the y-intercept. That'd be here. And so other points on the line would be here. And then we can just draw that in. So there is our slant asymptote. And if you were to go on and graph this, you'd uh, cast around for some points and find out maybe there's a, a branch here and a branch here or maybe a branch here and a branch here. Um, but that is how to find the asymptotes of a rational function when you've got a, a slant asymptote.